Hi, welcome back to Mr. Mobile PC Blog. My name's Hugo Ortega. Today I want to show you the Fujitsu T902. It's a really lovely tablet. Now I've been, I've been lucky enough that I've had a few of these devices through the years, including the T4010, the T5010, the T900, T901, and the T902. Um, and just to prove it to you, I've got the T5010, T901, and the T902 here as well. Now, these are really, really special devices. Um, the the tab uh, tablets were actually one of Fujitsu's fortes and the, 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 the core of their business for quite a long time. Um, the, the pen features are something that they've always um, been very, very careful to perfect. And the tablet structure itself, the physical structure, um, the quality itself has been something they've been very, very careful to, um, to uh, mimic all the way through their range. Um, so just a quick note, the T901 um, was the first time, uh, sorry, T902 was the first time that we had a, a Core i7 processor um, included in the tablet computer. Also was the first time that we had a touch screen, so we actually had the ability to use your finger on here. It's a 13.3 inch display, i7 processor as we say. Um, it's got 8 gigs of RAM support um, and, and quite a few other features including the pen and the touch as we say. Um, the beauty of this is, however, that now we've got the latest iteration, which is the 902, and just by grabbing it, it's absolutely so much lighter. Now, if we did a side-by-side, -side, if I stack these together, the T902 on the left here, and the T902, this is actually a 902 as well, but the um, six months prior, in the new version, there's actually a whole screen difference in thickness. So if I was to lie them down flat next to each other, there's a whole screen of thickness that has been lost on the new version of the T902. And you can feel that when you hold it. It's actually a much, much nicer tablet to feel. Um, now, as you can see, I'm running Windows 8 on this device. And you can do things like the um, you call up the, um, the widgets and the gesture controls and the search buttons on the, on, with your fingers. So that's always exciting to use. Um, but you've also got the key feature, which is the use of the pen. So we can actually do things like, um, so let's just go into here. Um, and what I'll do is I'll type in something called snipping tool. If I could spell. <laughs> okay. Now um, on the snipping tool, um, and if, you, if, if you've never used Snipping Tool, uh, jump on your computer now and just in the, in the um, start menu, type in SNIP, S-N-I-P. It's standard with Windows Vista and above. God help if you're still using Windows Vista. But Vista, um, Win 7, Win 8 definitely, it's standard in the operating system. And Snipping Tool is this little feature that allows you to just hover over any screen you like and take a circle of something and then email it or copy it, paste it, from the same little application. So, for example, if I'm just looking at a at this page now, the desktop, and I want to take a snipping, I press New, and then I can literally just do a circle of that page. So, I do a free form circle of that page, and there it is, cut out. So now, what I've got is this this page, this this actual annotatable. So I can write on here, hello. Look at this, please. Modify this, change this, share this from this snipping tool. So that's the use of pen, use of touch. So I can use my finger on here too, um, all in one with these particular features that are standard now in your notebooks. So if I was you, I'd take this very, very seriously. Now this is a, a Core i7 processor. There is also a Core i5 version. The difference with this device is that this is a full HD IPS display. So it's a beautiful, beautiful display as you can probably see there in the video. It's a really, really crisp, refined, high definition display. Um, you've got up support for up to uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And this particular unit, Tega Tech, is included a 480 gigabyte SSD hard drive. Um, they do do 128 gig versions and 256 gig versions because obviously the 480 gigabyte SSD is quite expensive. But this one has a 480 gig hard drive. Working your way around, you do have things like the fingerprint, you've got both button controls there, you've got the beautiful, beautiful hinge here. 
here from Fujitsu, which is a, a really nice um, metal hinge, um, strong um, tablet hinge for, for the conversion. Because you're converting so often on these, you should be anyway, you've got to have this really strong hinge to accept all the sort of behavior that comes with that rotation. The other thing that's really nice is that they took away an unsightly buckle that was at the top and replaced that now with little nodules here at the, on the base and little um, peripheral sort of whole female to male sort of little nodules which allow you to put the tablet together and then it won't actually come apart when, when it's in that form, tablet form factor. Um, and that, and that is, is a really nice refined attention to detail. As you work around, you've got a USB port here. You've got a module which allows you to actually a modular bay. Now this is the, what's called the weight saver, so it makes it nice and light. And in the modular bay, you can purchase a DVD player. You can sort of purchase a Blu-ray player to put in there, believe it or not, and burner. Um, you can purchase a modular bay battery. That for me is, is a really, really exciting piece of equipment, and it's something I use very, very often. So I'll just get off of my computer. So on my particular device, um, that's the modular bay battery, and that, that one is a nine cell battery, which will give you the additional um, uh, power that the six cell battery gives you. So on the T902, the six cell gives you about nine hours of operation. If you add a nine cell, you'll be up to that full day that we've all been waiting for for these big devices. So the modular bay, weight saver, DVD, or battery, or secondary hard drive, you can actually place inside that modular bay a secondary hard drive. And that's really, really, really um, something that doesn't exist in other tablets, a very, very smart expansion concept. You do have um, SD card slot at the front. You've got uh, Wi-Fi on and off. This particular device also has two USB 3 ports, HDMI, audio, fan, VGA, power. On the rear, you've got things like Ethernet, yet another USB port, so there's four total USB ports. Um, smart card slot, SIM card slot. So in here, we actually have a built-in 3G SIM card antenna, modem and SIM card all together, so to give you that mobile broadband. So you've got a really, really exciting all-in-one encompassing device. This is a device that I really do appreciate and love. Um, they're solid, they work really, really well, they last the full length of their warranty, whether it's a one, two, three year warranty, they last the whole length. Um, and you, you're talking about a device that's been really around for quite a while and um, almost is the, the mothership of, of tablet devices and a benchmark for what Windows PC ta tablets are. Um, uh, there's been copies from people like Lenovo, Fujitsu and so on. Um, Fujitsu I think does the best tablet, um, but I just want to take a moment to show you the T902, a really thin, light, 13.3 uh, inch, fully capable Windows device with all the pinch gestures, multi-touch, pen, and so on. So available through Tega Tech, very exciting. Um, if you have any questions, send them to me, email, Twitter, Facebook, anything you like, I'm easy to find. Um, and I'll talk to you again soon. And remember, stay mobile. Hi, back again. Um, one thing I forgot to show you is the actual port replicator. Now these are always, always a great accessory. So you actually dock the tablet on the top, and once it's docked, you might have heard in the video when I pulled it off, it's a bit of a clunk, but uh, that's because it's a, it's a quite a rigid also dock. Um, but when you put it on, all of a sudden, all your peripherals at the back are already docked and plugged in. So things like DVI, four more USB ports, um, HDMI port, um, VGA port, Ethernet, and power are already docked. So no need to be pulling, plugging in cables and unplugging cables. You dock it, and that's what happens. So instantly I've got my keyboard, mouse, ethernet, um, dual screen. So I've got one plugged in through HDMI, one plugged in through VGA, um, and so on, are all streaming off of this dock. So this is a really cool ac uh, accessory. So again, this has been Hugo Ortega from the Mr. Mobile PC blog. Thanks for joining me guys, with a bit of a cold and all. <laughs> all the best, bye bye.